how Jake Paul is training to fight Conor McGregor. Notorious YouTube and internet personality Jake Paul is never far from the limelight. Jake always finds a way to stay relevant and in the news cycles. And his latest ambitions of becoming a professional boxer have definitely made things a bit interesting to say the least. In this video, we're going to give you a brief rundown of how Jake Paul is training to fight Conor McGregor. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin. Jake is certainly one of the most controversial and buzziest YouTube stars out there. He has more than 20 million subs on his YouTube channel, where his legion of fans have been witness to a fake marriage to content creator Tana Mono and even an FBI raid of his Calabasas house. The creator has also been an actor on Disney Channel and started out his career on Vine. He shifted his focus to diss tracks and courting controversy not long after this. But now, he has completely shifted his focus from attention-grabbing antics to becoming a fully-fledged professional boxer. He even has gone on to defeat and knock out a former NBA player called Nate Robinson. He was even sharing the fight card with former boxing legend Mike Tyson himself. If this does not show how serious Jake sees himself as a boxer, I don't think anything else will. He has repeatedly stated that he is not in the boxing game for the money. He has insisted that he fights only because he wants to and loves to do it. Although clearly burning with ambition, Jake has had a very short and brief career so far. Paul knocked out Nate Robinson, a former NBA player, in only his second ever professional boxing fight. This was his second victory after also defeating YouTuber Andy Son Gibb, who is commonly known as Gibb. The Nate Robinson fight was live streamed on Triller, which is a competitor for TikTok. The pay-per-view event was charging $50 to see the Jake fight, as well as the Mike Tyson main event. Jake has claimed that a fire in his belly keeps him going every day, as he feels the motivation to be a great fighter each day when he wakes up. He claims that all his passion, hard work, and dedication is stemming from boxing and training. He went on to say that while entertainment in LA is probably the best in the world, boxing just hits differently for him. So, let's go back and see how he started his boxing career in the first place. He is not the first YouTuber to start a fighting career. British YouTuber Olajide Alatunji, better known as KSI, has been fighting since 2018. YouTube boxing matches have usually drawn a massive interest and viewership. The original KSI fight versus Paul Weller drew in a million viewers, for example. Heck, even Mike Tyson acknowledged the pulling power of YouTubers. He said that boxing actually owes YouTube stars such as Paul a lot of respect, and he is keeping boxing alive. Jake began amateur boxing in 2018 when his brother Logan headlined against KSI. The event was a massive hit, with the Manchester Arena completely selling out, and online $10 tickets also getting sold out. Then, Jake made the step up and made his professional debut against Gibb in Miami in January 2020. Jake won the match in the very first round. In between the fight against Gibb and his win against Nate Robinson, Jake found a way to stay in the spotlight through various controversies. Authorities have said that he was stealing from an Arizona mall for a video and which also led the FBI to raid his house. In recent interviews, Jake has said that he had stopped partying as well to push himself even harder and train for his next match. When everyone else around him is out partying in clubs, making music, having fun, Jake has tried to keep isolated and run sprints and work out until he nearly pukes. What is all this focus for, you may ask? Well, Jake finally feels like he has earned his wings in the ring by now and has his eyes set on fighting Conor McGregor. The former UFC champion has now been verbally challenged by Jake. Jake thinks it would be very entertaining to take the champion down. Jake is confident in his ability to outweigh and outreach Conor. He even went out to throw some shade by calling Conor sort of washed up and out of his prime. In a completely profanity-laden rant on social media, Paul challenged Connor to a whopping $50 million fight. He did not stop there, though. He threw shade at Connor's next opponent and longtime rival as well. He stooped low enough to take swipes against Connor's fiance, Dee Devlin, as well. Even Dana White, the president of the UFC, was not sparred from the verbal attack. Dana White has already laughed off the chances of Paul fighting against Connor, even calling into doubt the chances of the event ever taking place. Dana had previously said that he could see Amanda Nunes knock Jake's teeth out. 
He said that it was all a big gimmick and neither of the Paul brothers could actually fight. He said that people were dumb enough to pay money to watch shit and that he could not care less what Jake does. Paul said that his team had sent out a $50 million offer to Connor with proof of funds as well. He claimed that this was the biggest offer Connor had gotten in his career and insisted that Connor was running scared of him. He goaded the Irishman by stating that Connor had a boxing record of one fight and one loss. Meanwhile, Jake has a record of two wins out of two. Connor has so far declined to comment and be brought down into the mud by Jake. He has so far kept quiet and given the illusion of being the bigger man. This was not the end of his callouts, though. Jake, in a new attempt to create buzz and get under Connor's skin, found out details of Connor's training camp. He claimed that Connor was scared of fighting and had started taking easy fights. He said that Connor had been sparring in Ireland and ducking any difficult challenge. He went on to mock his sparring partner by digging into him. He ridiculed Dylan Morin by showing footage of the young boxer losing his one and only professional fight. The fight was against Dennis Okoth in 2019. He laughed at the boxer and his knockout. Jake went on to say that he would take on Dylan and easily beat him in a single round. A shocking video of Jake also surfaced during this time which show him unable to compete and completely out of his depth against a 33-year-old former Bellator fighter. He was slated by fighting fans from across the world as his usual bluster and pomp and circumstance was completely betrayed by the pathetic in-ring performance. On top of this, recent pictures and videos of him partying and eating donuts also showed that he was not at all that keen on training. So before he can think of fighting an actual former world champion in McGregor, Jake really needs to step up his game and focus. This won't be like fighting another YouTuber. This is a serious professional killing machine we are talking about here. So to sum it all up, Jake as usual has been very smart with keeping his name in the boxing circles. His penchant of courting controversy and generating buzz are still in full swing. He never has been a serious fighter, but due to the money in the sport, he has acted like a serious boxer. His training is not all that great and is more focused on just getting into a fight and enjoying the spoils of the contest. Thus, he is not seriously trained to fight Connor at all. His training has included insults, swear words, and disrespect, as he knows the only way he could get Connor in a fight would be if Connor was truly angry at Jake. From comments from Dana White, it can be seen that most of the boxing and mixed martial arts world does not really think Jake or his brother Logan are serious. Let's see where this goes, and if Jake's training will indeed land him the coveted fight against McGregor. That's a wrap for how Jake Paul is training to fight Connor McGregor. Which part of this story surprised you the most? Do you actually think Jake will be able to fight one of the best fighters in the world? Or is he doing all this just for the attention? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for videos like this. See you in the next one.